Hi, we're here with the team from Hyundai Research and their exoskeleton. It's pretty interesting because it helps uh, disabled people get around. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the actuators we have here in the uh, exoskeleton? Yeah, this exoskeleton is actually for the elderly people. So we, this is one lineup the, among the exoskeleton we have. And this, this exoskeleton has really unique actuators. So it's actually the same structure applied for, to the, each actuator. So this actuator has electric motor and harmonic drives. And between electric motor and harmonic drive, there is one rubber belt. So if the wearer want to move, this guy moved gear and then rubber belt and electric motor. So the, this robot recognize the formation of rubber belt. And then this robot can know how the wearer want to move. So that's the basic theory, under the theory of the, this robot. And the, its argument, the wearer's force, also, along the vertical axis, this robot resists, so he cannot fall down, actually. So by using this kind of generation of the torque at each joint, this robot can help the elderly people. Can you point out the, um, there's four actuators on each side, could you point those out? Yeah, this has four joints, but actually various configuration can be applied to this kind of exoskeleton. So one product we made has eight actuator, what ten actuator, what two actuator, one actuator. So for the wearer's desire, de the wearer's convenience, what wearer's uh, injured, we can apply the various configuration of the actuator. So number of actuator is one of selection the wearer can want. Right. What's the rating on the electric motors? So the rating of the electric motor is 200 watt but we can increase the power of the motor, while well, we can decrease the power of, ro power of the motor. Everything is just depends on the, the injury degree of the wearer, or well, the age of the elderly people. Yeah. Uh, what's the ratio for the harmonic drive? The harmonic drive ratio is very, very sensitive question because it depends, actually, depends on the ratio of the harmonic drive. The performance of the robot will be decided actually. That's, that's a kind of secret of our, our <laughs> institute. Sorry uh, about that. Did you, so you developed the drive and the motor in-house or was any of it purchased? Actually right now we just uh, use the commercial motor but we have a plan to make our motor. Actually we, we worked with a lot of universities at Korea so we will have our unique motor soon. And uh, there's an electronic packs on, on his back, mm -hmm. can you show that? Um, what are the connections that we see here? Actually, all the power is applied through the, these lines. And then this one has some motor driver and controller and battery and battery regulator. It's battery managing system. So this whole pack is really compact, so it's really challenging to put the, all the devices into the, this small volume. Gotcha. But so we just try to minimize the battery pack and motor driver and then so everything device. So the compactness is very important for this kind of exoskeleton. Yeah. What's the, what's the battery capacity in the, the chemistry? So battery capacity, he will explain. Uh, the battery capacity is, it depends on the kind of variable, but in this case, it uh, plays 5,000 mini okay. ampere oh, hour. Yeah. Yeah. Lithium? Lithium ion? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. What's the next step? So we have a plan to make the kind of final product for the patient, and then we will have some a lot of experiment with the patient. So that's our plan to be done in one month. And then after that, we, we will have a walk with the doctors and patients and a lot of government officers. And then if we get some permission to uh, make a really final product in the market, yeah. so we will have some enterprising about that. Uh, yeah. Great. That's an interesting development. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.